Sacone, meantime, is snapping back after his Republican opponent called him an embarrassment. Sacone is being challenged in next month's primary by state senator Guy Reschenthaler. Political editor John Delano has the latest. State Representative Rick Sacone says state senator Guy Reschenthaler's attack on him is disappointing. Well, I'm very disappointed. I consider Guy a friend, and I've tried to mentor him in his short political career. Because Saccone narrowly lost in the 18th, won by President Trump by nearly 20 points, Reschenthaler calls Saccone an embarrassment. Put it this way, he embarrassed everybody in southwestern Pennsylvania with the last campaign. Not so, says Saccone, who sees sour grapes from Reschenthaler because Saccone defeated him to be the Republican candidate in the old 18th. It is interesting that the two people I defeated in the and the uh, conferee process last November are now teaming up to be against me. That would be Reschenthaler and Westmoreland State Senator Kim Ward, who came in third to Saccone and now backs Reschenthaler in the 14th District. Sour grapes? Certainly something that people have to uh, consider when they, when they listen to statements like that. Reschenthaler is also using a Democratic attack line on Saccone. I refuse to take per diems. He's taken over $400,000 worth of per diems. Every year I give money back to the taxpayers from what I'm authorized to spend. I don't take the state pension. I don't take the state car. He does take the state pension. Underlying the sniping back and forth between the two Republicans is another issue. He not only lost, we squandered $11 million in that race. Maybe, but it bought Saccone valuable name recognition that Reschenthaler lacks in the new 14th, which is why later this week, Reschenthaler will start his own TV ads. Now I'm running for Congress to stop Beltway liberals from doing more damage. It'll be tough, but I face down the butcher of Fallujah. The DC swamp creatures are in for a fight. Reschenthaler or Saccone? Republican voters will decide in just six weeks. John Delano, KDKA, TV News.